So working on the front of the bus here, the forward structure. I uh, just raised the uh, existing framework up a foot. You can see there's a 12 inch piece added on each side. Had to uh, change the angle a little bit, of course, on the uh, these back two pieces here because when I shortened it up, uh, the angle changed. So that had to be changed. No big deal. And, uh, but I decided because that was such a so much taller and it was just an inch and a half piece of tubing there, it might have a tendency to flex. So I added these two diagonal supports here, and that. Uh, it's solid as a rock there now, it doesn't move a bit. So now I'm just starting to work on these two uh, these two uh, corner pieces here, one on each side. They're just a piece of tubing uh, clamped in there right now, holding everything square. So I'll uh, gonna do that this afternoon. And then uh, that'll be pretty much it for the structure. The, the cap's ready to go back up, so we'll put back up into place. Um, we got a little bit of filling to do up here yet, all these holes, but uh, I'll get to that here in a, few, in a little bit too. And then um, once this is in, I'll get some more my uh, some more steel next week, and then I can start uh, framing in the slide outs here. Well, once this is all uh, supported at the front here nice and solid and I can go ahead and cut all this uh, structure out here and the uh, the walls on both sides do the <coughs> sorry do the framework for both slide outs and the uh, and the door entry door once that's done I guess the next task is going to be ripping this old floor up That'll be a ton of fun, but uh, it's got to get done, so that's it for now. Okay, well the cap's all back up in place, looks like it's going to fit really good. Just got some uh, straps holding the back corners down and it's uh, almost has it right into place, so you know by the time I guy put some I'll probably have to put some screws into it and suck it down the last little bit before I rivet it, but it's uh, it'll fit really nice. I was really concerned about it a little bit because the uh, you know you never know when you take it all apart like that and uh, fiberglass it back up again whether it's actually going to fit or not. But I'll get around to the front here, uh, back. So, getting really nice up there. I'll go up inside here in a sec. So hopefully this isn't too dark up in here, but... Yeah, it might be, eh? Anyways, there's all that framework I put in earlier back in place. I may end up <laughs> having to take the darn thing down one more time to, uh, I don't know why I never thought of it, but the uh, fiberglass right where I put it all back together there where I fiberglassed it up is thicker than the rest of the fiberglass and so it's holding it away in a few places and I don't know why I never thought of that. I sh should have and uh, ground it down. I may have to take it back down and grind it again. Or yet. Oh well. Anyways, that's the uh, all the structure all welded up here now, both sides. So the front end's all back together again. So the next step is going to be cutting this section of the wall out here. And uh, all this up out in here, and then uh, start framing in the the front slides on both sides. So that should be interesting. You got to get a little bit more steel 
do that in the next week or so. I've been this last month has been a bit of a I don't know, kind of lost my focus a little bit with uh, other things that came up and a little bit of short on cash, so I couldn't uh, couldn't buy the materials I needed, but uh, still had lots to do. So, but anyways, it just kind of lost some momentum, but uh, hopefully I can get that back again. Anyways, that cap fit really good. I was uh, because I was a little bit. Concerned about that because you never know when you glass it all up on the on the uh, on the floor and put it up into place whether it's actually going to fit or not. But there was still a lot of pulling and banging and <laughs> stuff to get it to fit. But but uh, it it does go, so it'll be good. Anyways, that's my progress for now. Okay, so I got openings for two of the slide outs. This one I did a couple of weeks ago. You know, I've seen it in some of the earlier videos. Now we have the opening for the front 13 foot slide. Just have to cut the two upper window braces out of there and, and then start framing this all in. I'll go up into the inside here in a second. But I wanted to wait till all the this uh, front structure was all welded back in here again so put the uh, structural integrity back in. Um, so this is all cut out here now. There's the piece just leaning on the inside here. I'll pull it down out, uh, outside when I have uh, a little bit of help. So up in here, I'm going to put some 2 inch angle along the bottom of this upper or this roof uh, framework. To give it a nice square edge for the seals and everything and then I'm going to put the uh, either 2 inch or 3 inch flat bar above that and extend it probably 3 or 4 feet past the slide on each end. I won't be able to do that on the front, just a couple of feet on the front, but uh, as far as I can on the back and uh, that should keep it from uh, having a tendency to sag. This is all pretty darn rigid anyways, but but uh, you don't want to make it, you know, lose any any structural integrity. So I'll uh, add some structure up there. Next will be the one on this side. It'll be a nine foot slide here, and then the entry door back in here, which will which will uh, have to build that as well. That's to come. So we have the continuing story of the bus project. Yeah. So ordered some steel today, but won't be here till for a day or two. So here's what I've been up to for well, it was yesterday, I guess. Anyways, I took the from the side of the wall that I took out of the for the front slide out there and that's it there. I took the upper rail, stripped it all down, or just the upper piece here, welded that uh, right in here, extended that back, uh, it was cut right above, right, right in line with that aluminum, I just cut it straight off there. So added that to it um, and then put uh, Bent a couple of pieces in the in the brake, some sheet metal, and reproduce the cross brace that they have in here. I don't think you can really see it that well. Anyways, that one, that one. Put uh, another upright there. 
I'm going to leave this open for now because that's going to be where we'll put one window in there. And uh, so I'll, I'll frame that in for a window, but I'll do that a little bit later. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's... Uh, so when I put this, I'll go around to the outside. This already has the rivet holes in it. Because it was on the other other side there, so of my hands in the way. Anyways, uh, so I just have to knock the last little bit of the rivets out of there, and then it's all um, it's all ready for the skin to go on it. Uh, these I have to drill out. So these uh, cross bracing here. So basically, it has matching cross bracing and rail. All the way around, except where the slides are. So, uh, put a little bit more bracing in here. Corners here. Still have to do this upper piece here, so I'll probably do that tomorrow while I'm waiting for the steel. Will probably be here Wednesday. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. I think so. Holy but surely. Anyways, that's it for now.